What's going on, you bratwurst bonanza ball buffers? <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak, not so. Live from the lair! <laughs> we got uh, Fat Punisher and Toxic Mail here, and we got another Red Pill story for you after we're getting done taking a look at the snowboarding booty. Yep, yep. A little on the skinny side, but, you know, things happen. Uh, this particular story today comes from Mark. I saw it be good. I, was, I kind of just glazed over it. Seems pretty sweet. Since you suggested that you would take stories in your last video, here's a short one. About 20 years ago, I went out with this girl who told me what her mother did to her father. Oh, no. Recon the mother. And I, I did do that one for the Hidden Feminist, yes. how the relationship with the father is. Damn right. In her mid-30s, her stay-at-home mother asked, demanded, that her husband made her a co-owner of the small business he had started alone in his 20s. That's a huge warning sign right there. No. She did not want to put any money into it, just become a 50-50 business partner because she deserved it. Yeah, because of vagina. No! No. Oh. That is a huge mistake. That is a gigantic mistake. Yeah, listen, you don't... Oh. Okay. Wow. Continue on. I can go on for hours talking about that. A any woman asks this of you, cut her loose. That's right. Done. Jettison. That's freeloading by any other name. There you yeah, go. There you go. Of course, he refused as this was the straight way to divorce and being cleaned clear of all his hard-earned belongings. Correct. In order to get what she wanted, she refused to sleep with him ever again. Get rid of her. Yeah. As soon as that happens. You're in violation of the marriage contract. Why are at that you point. even in the, Bye. See you later. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split and, you. And listen, uh, we're trying to educate the dudes out there to, you know, turn their back on the dick thinking because a lot of guys fall for that because, like, oh, I want to get some poon. So. Mm. Yeah, no, no. It's not worth it. Trust no. me. But. She was hoping that he would be so starved for shagnanigans he would give in to her ridiculous demand. He tried to do it with her for two plus years. Oh my god! Holy smoking chauffeur! I would my my breaking point is like six months. But was denied access to her love tunnel slash slot machine. That's exactly. <laughs> He's using our lingo. I love it. <laughs> her mother confided proudly to her daughter about her constant refusals to her father. Oh, no. Pussy power in action and proud of it. I feel sorry for her father. Yeah, man. That's, that's, this is a manipulative, yeah. narcissistic, entitled, selfish quantaha. Yeah, you should cover all that and recon the mother. We should probably redo that episode because there's yeah. a lot more we can add to it, I think. Would a Quantaha by any other name be as loose? <laughs> probably. <laughs> a Kuantaha. Kuantaha. Princess Kuantaha of the Tamahachi tribe <laughs> from the Slapaho Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Kickabitch called. I think you need to go in for some disciplining and uh, peace piping. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. After that, he simply stopped asking. So this is the moment where the man admits defeat, but still won't accept it. Yeah. Then she started spying on him naturally. Yes. Yeah, well, if he's not asking me anymore, maybe I can get some, me some of that infidelity money from the divorce court. That mean the cash and prizes? Yep. Hmm. Checking his cell phone for calls to uh, professionals slash other women. Waiting outside the store in a rented car and following him to see... What, did she get administrative violence? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Following him to see if he was banging anyone or left the business to see somebody else. Checking bank statements to look for mysterious withdrawals. Watching his computer to see if he was looking at Orn pay. Who cares? Exactly. Result? Goose egg. Nothing. She found nothing. But as we all know... Women hit their sexual peak at 40. Mm. Do they? Too little, too late. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, an artifact from uh, evolution. Yeah. They it's, try to get one last uh, bun in the oven before the yeah. uh, oven shuts down. It's like, duration. yeah, the fertility window is slamming shut, so they try to dive back inside where it's warm for a little while. 
Not a, not a good idea. Yep. And, of course, this is the same time they hit the undefeated heavyweight world champion, the Wall. The wall. <laughs> yeah, to my knowledge, the only person who ever defeated the Wall was Chuck Norris, and that's only in tennis. Mm. And she hit both simultaneously at 40. She finally understood that she would never, ever get the desired free ride in becoming a business partner. And as her desires grew, she only punished herself by denying her husband access to her smoked meat sandwich. <laughs> the Arby's uh, roast beef and cheddar? Yeah, they're... A little bit. Yeah! <laughs> so, after great consideration. Oh, no. And a major rush of hormones. Major rush of hormones. Here we go. She decided that Her Majesty would allow her husband to fuck her. <laughs> you serious? She dressed in lingerie, mm. made herself available to her husband after not two years, not three years, not four years, five years of refusal. No, that's no. Mm -mm. The father was a simp. He was an absolute simp. Wow. What was he doing for those five years? I, I mean, if you if Half you don't decade. take care of your business, eventually the good Lord will take care of it for you while you're sleeping, and then she's going to be pissed off even more because then she's going to be sexually frustrated, and she's going to be throwing laundry in there that <laughs> looks like a two-by-four. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Mothers of teenage boys do not enjoy doing laundry because you got to take that tube snock and smack it over your knee like kindling just to fit it in the hole. <laughs> and heaven forbid you have to wash that shit by hand. I'm oh, just no, saying. that's not happening. No, that's and you know some of these like modern mothers, you know, like the ones who totally don't diddle their students, would be like. Oh, God! Uh, that's disgusting! There was that one video that we watched in one of the fucked up but funnies where the chick was like confessing that she was in love with her son and he's like, I love you too. Oh, we could totally bang, right? Oh yeah, it's totally not weird. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's disgusting. That's, I mean, yeah, that's bad. It's bad. We start turning a blind eye to shit like this. Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 is coming your way. Yep. Bad news bears. Drum roll. After five years of refusal, her husband told her to go to sleep because he was not interested. Nice. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> she was devastated by of that course. rejection and told her daughter about it, who should have said, fuck around, find out. Yeah. Well, a lot of women do that, especially today in the West. They're so entitled. Yeah. At the minute you do put consequences on them, they just implode. Yeah. I think it's not fair. They're being punished. Yeah. No. Well, it's because it, the reason they think it's not fair is because they don't have the mental wherewithal to look inward, to look at themselves in the mirror and say, this is how I treated men. And now I'm getting what I put out there, and it's not fair. Maybe I shouldn't have been such a bitch. Damn it. He's right. Well said. Unfortunately, most women don't learn that lesson until it's way too late. Amen to that. It is, a, it is a hard lesson for you to learn, but if you would listen to the men in your life explaining to you that all this effinist nonsense that you're being taught by single mamas, society, and social media is bullshit, you wouldn't be so surprised. Yeah. In fact, you might actually be <gasps> gasp, gulp, happy. Yeah. You or, might find a good dude. Or at least they're like, wait a minute. If I continue down this road... This is the end result. Stop! Don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Stop! <laughs> you know where you're going. <laughs> Woo! Uh, it never gets old. Now, to be fair... To be fair... To be fair... <laughs> she was not that great to look at, as the wall had certainly not spared her. So in conclusion to her experiment, mm -hmm. she was left with no sex ever again by her own fault, no options to get another man as she was fugly by now, mm -hmm. and no business partnership whatsoever. Ooh, yeah, I like it. You know, all she would have had to do to avoid this was at one point in that first two years when he was still trying, just say yes. 
Mm-hmm. After the first year, it should be pretty evident that, hey, he's not giving in, and hey, maybe I am being a selfish quantaha for even asking to have any slice of, of a business. business that I had nothing to do with starting and that already puts food in the fridge, pays the bills, puts clothes on my back, gives me a bed to sleep on, and a dick to suck while making sandwiches and giving beers. But the thing is, a lot of men do this, then they get divorced, and they're literally financially destitute and homeless. Yep. They lose everything. Because mm-hmm. most people don't have enough equity to, to buy the other person out at 50%. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you own a bar... I mean that's a, even a small bar is like four hundred fifty to five hundred thousand dollar investment, and then you know she, she steps in and says she wants half, and then she leaves. You're not going to be able to pony up two hundred and fifty G's yeah. to buy her out, and even if you did, your business is upside down for a long time because it's valued around five hundred K. You had to borrow two hundred and fifty to pay her because you you know it's not there. Yep. You're like leveraged up to the eyeballs after that. that. And that's very common. Yeah. This is a phenomenal story. Take notes, and we're still not done. Not Karma's right. a bitch. Keep up the great work that you do. Moral of the story, rejection. Handling rejection is not something women are used to. Now, just imagine the number of times her husband slash men in general have had to deal with rejection. There would be no society if men handled rejection the same way as women. Yeah, we, literally, it's our it's our stock and trade. Yeah, you know, rejection. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally, I, I when I was out dick thinking and cruising the bars around Fort Lewis and Seattle, I'd probably talk to. Anywhere from 15 to 30 women before I got a maybe, yep. and then 7 to 10 maybes before I got a yes. Yeah. By uh, the that, time you are of legal drinking age, rejection is your default setting. That's right. You just go, oh, okay. Yeah, no big deal. Move on to the next target. That's right. It is what it is. Women claiming men can't handle rejection is psychological projection. 1,000%. <sighs> Bummer. What can I say? Yeah, and that's why you have these women who think that they can shit test men that they barely even know. They do this on in, on dating apps and social media. We did media. a whole video like, on shit testing. Yeah, they curb these dudes forever. They try to leave them in the friend zone, and then when these guys leave the friend zone and move on to somebody else, they get heartbroken. Yeah. Women say to you, you know, I, I, I guess I'm just not really feeling it. What they really want you to do is fight for them. They want to take the power in the relationship, and as soon as you try to pursue them when they say that they're done with you, you're done. You're done. Your spine is gone. You are a jellyfish yeah. to them. I, I couldn't have said it better. But that <laughs> same woman rejects you and tries to shit test you and you're like, all right, fine, no big deal. It was a nice date. You have a good one. I'll see you later. They flip the fuck out. They might not they flip do. out directly at you, but they will flip out to their friends. Oh, no. I, I've, I've had... I've had some flip. I've had it happen to me too. Yeah. What, what do you mean? You're just gonna just gonna. What, uh, what, no, no. I, I'm I, a catch. Like, well, clearly not. No, no. I remember <laughs> I was sitting down. Uh, this was about nine years ago. Redhead, nice rack, and we we're talking at, over dinner. And she had no relationship with her father because you know he was a deadbeat and, and didn't pay. And I'm like, well, that's act- according to her mother. Yeah, who so raised that's her. exactly Let's, what I said. I said, yeah. have you actually? Went to see her father and get his side of the story. No, he's just a bum. I literally left a hundred bucks on the table and said, I'm done. See you later. Have a good life because your attitude is not going to work for you. How dare you? Boom. She was totally pissed. Of course. I, I mean, I just blocked her on my phone, and that was it. See you later. Yeah, I had a similar situation. Redhead. Um, we went out on, like, one official date Betted her a couple of times, and then she tried the shit test. Yes. And I said, oh, it's no big deal. You have a good one. She flipped out. She couldn't believe that I wasn't trying to fight for her. I was like, no, I, I don't really spend a lot of time fishing for dead carp. Well, in today's so. day and age, it literally, if you fight for a woman, it could mean your financial destitution or even imprisonment. Yeah. Because if even if it doesn't get violent, mm-hmm. 
she could take out a PPO on you. You lose your gun rights. You know, maybe you pass her going in the bank. You get hammered because it says you can't come within 50 meters. It's not worth it. It's yeah. just not worth it. I feel for him. But at the end of the day, he did choose this woman, yes, and I did. guarantee there were a million red flags that he ignored along the way. And he's very lucky that as soon as he refused, she didn't divorce him and take half his shit. In the end, yep. karma got back at her, but this could have easily gone in the other direction. Yes, yes, it could have. So uh, that's why, yeah, even though I'm a married guy, I always say, <laughs> recon the mother, listen to the popster. He knows the deal. Observe the rules of the crazy gates. Make sure that you vet these women within an inch of their life before you even consider bringing them into your inner sanctum. Yeah. And if you write a check against it, only do it once. That's right. Just one, one and done. Don't be one of those suckers who gets crushed by the rule of half, yeah. losing half your sheet each time you get married and divorced. Exactly. Because after three divorces... You're worth a quarter of what you would have been worth yeah. if you never got married. I was just going to say, it's, it's the pizza analogy. Yeah. Every time you order a pizza, you expect a whole pizza to be in the box. Well, after divorce, you only get half a pizza in the box. After two divorces, you only get a quarter of a pizza in the box. Sooner or later, you're just picking up hot slices at little sleezers. Yep. Fuck that. And nobody actually cares about those, and they're not that expensive. <laughs> and probably because they taste like shit, and that's what they make you do. How come? <sighs> Chicks, man. Uh, with that being said, though, gentlemen, I want to thank Mark for sending in this story. It's fantastic. Lots of wisdom in here in a very small package. Send us your stories, dudes, because your stories can save lives and add more to the board. Outstanding. All right. You guys are part of this community. Continue being awesome. Take it easy. Thank you.